Stuart, thank you for your time. Let's talk about duplex. Would you be duped by duplex? Would I be? Who do you? you know, quite possibly. Yeah, I, I'd say so. So how good was duplex? I think that duplex was definitely far beyond what anybody thought was possible with um, you know, voice generation and speech synthesis. Uh, and I think it really just cements Google's lead in the race to, to having the best machine learning and artificial intelligence software out there in the world. Hmm. And some people began raising ethical issues and all those kind of things, which brings us to the issue of uh, uh, regulation. Of course, I, th I know in South Africa, perhaps this is not something that we're worrying about. But how worried should us as, 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 as human beings be uh, by the creation of such machines? I think that um, there is a lot of opportunity in the creation of, of artificial intelligence systems and machine learning. And I think that there's a lot of opportunity to actually make you know, the world a better place and to improve um, everybody's lives in, in society. But I think that we as South Africans should um, be quite nervous about it because I think that a lot of the data out there which these models are trained on are generally created in um, European or Western countries like the US and the UK and, and Europe. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, inherent algorithmic biases in these things so what we're finding is that when we take these technologies and we try and apply them in an African context, especially in South Africa and, and the rest of the continent, yeah. uh, we find that these technologies don't quite um, perform as well as they do overseas. So, so that should be a fear because uh, we can quite easily fall behind in that situation. Absolutely. But I'm certain, uh, Stuart, that uh, uh, duplex will be a flop in South Africa because without the South African accent, I'll definitely <laughs> pick that this is a machine that is talking. But let's talk about uh, South Africa's ability to be able to compete on that front. You say we need data. Explain the kind of data yes. that we require. All right. Yeah. So I think that you need two things to really succeed in artificial intelligence and in, mach in machine learning in general as a country. First of all, you need the skills to actually develop and customize these, these algorithms for your particular problem. And I think that there is quite a lot of work being done on that in the country. But the reality is that machine learning algorithms, like the name suggests, actually learn from data. Mm. So you need to have very high quality um, curated data sets that they can learn from, uh, which are labeled so we know what we're trying to predict when we when we get the data set they're clean um, they're funded they're relevant but most importantly they're actually balanced and representative of the society that you're a part of yeah um, so can you I explain the difference yeah, yeah. Can, can, can you explain the difference between what you call closed data door uh, data policy and uh, open data uh, sets yeah, I think that um, overseas there's been a, a big trend in the last few years towards making uh, more public data sets uh, available to, to people, and this is really this open data movement. And the whole idea behind that is that if this data is available to researchers in your okay. country and, and just to you know, civilians in general, they can actually use that and identify um, you know, flaws in systems and, and improve you know, society in, in general. Mm -hmm. um, there are a few examples of, of how we've taken data sets and just, you know, tried to apply the models which are learned from them in a South African context and, and they just don't work. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Stuart, we keep hearing uh, data sets and many big words that we are not familiar with. So I suppose you'll have to do a lot of explaining. Sorry, I'm going to ask you again. What are these data sets? Sure. So data sets are really just collections of data. Um, so, for example, um, you have facial recognition data sets, which are actually just lots and lots of images of, of people's faces. And, uh, and researchers like myself would use these data sets to actually build new technologies like facial recognition software that was launched in, in Apple's new iPhone, whereby maybe you look at your phone and it recognizes your face and it, and it actually unlocks automatically. Yeah. So, so what do so we need to do? Who needs to do what in terms of getting this conversation that you're saying is necessary to, to, to go on? Yeah, so I think that there have been a few good steps. Um, I think that um, the Digital Industrial Revolution Commission uh, that Ramaphosa has been um, proposing is, is a great idea. And I think 
he said that our prosperity as a nation depends on our ability to take full advantage mm. um, of rapid technological change, and I definitely agree with that. Um, and it's not just enough to upskill um, individuals in the country. We also need to make sure that the data sets which our models are being trained on are actually South African data sets. Um, for example, many data sets now can understand uh, English uh, when it's spoken and when it's written, but there are almost no data sets in the world um, for African languages. So I think it would be very hard for us to find a chatbot or a duplex kind of system which could speak Corsa or Zulu or, or any African language for that matter. And the reason for that is not actually because the technology can't do it, mm. it's because there's no data for it to learn from. So we need to be um, you know, proactive as a nation, um, whether that's in the private sector or in, or in government or both, in actually creating these kind of curated data sets and, and making them available to the public so that when we do build AI solutions, um, they actually work in our country and we don't stay behind. A lot of education is required. Stuart, thanks very much indeed. Stuart Reed is Chief Scientist at uh, NMRQL Research.